What's up dancers? This is Jam. Welcome back to another locking tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do points. Points are one of the fundamental locking moves created by Don Campbell. In this video, I'm going to show you how to execute them nice and clean, as well as give you a drill that you can practice with at home. Let's do it. Damn, damn, here comes the man. Hot damn. All right, so points, or as I was taught when I was younger, Uncle Sam points. This is one of the original fundamental locking moves originated by Don Campbell. And if you'd like to know the history of how he came up with this, go ahead and check out campbelllock.dance. I'll put a link in the description. There's a lot of really great information on there about the original history of locking directly from the source. So go ahead and check that out. But in this video, what I'm gonna teach you is uh, how to make your points look really nice and sharp. And later in the video, I'll give you a drill so that you can train, okay? Let's get into it. So one thing to remember is that uh, originally, there was not a, a technique behind points. It was really just Don Campbell pointing at people out in the crowd, yeah? And even back in the day, they used points to communicate to each other. So the original intention is important to understand that when you're pointing, you're always, uh, well, originally, you're directing your attention or someone's attention to something, okay? Now, uh, it's kind of evolved into a move on its own which uh, does have a technique that I'm gonna show you to help you make it look really nice and clean, okay? So the first thing that I wanna show you is this T pattern, okay? So this is something I went over in the pace video, and if you haven't seen that, go ahead and click that link right there. Uh, but in the pace video, I talk about this half T motion like this, yeah? So what you're doing is your, your arm is coming up and out, in and down, yeah? up and out, in and down. Um, and the reason why we do this is because this is uh, how you can make your points way sharper and cleaner. This just following just this trajectory, yeah? Um, when you point, you don't wanna lift up like this, right? You don't wanna just lift up and point. Yeah, it's, this, it's kind of awkward. I'm just like pointing, right? It kinda lacks that, that, uh, that flavor, yeah? As well as the sharpness. Because if I'm coming up like this, I'm missing out on that boom, that, that punch, right? So, so we're always going to follow this up and out motion, okay? In and down, all right? One other thing that you don't want to do when you're doing points is to shoot out like this, yeah? Going out, yeah? This doesn't have any real funk into it. It's just kind of awkward pointing out. Um, and you'll see some people do this if they don't really understand the technique behind it. Yeah, so, so really, you don't want to point up, you don't want to point out, but you want to come up and out. And when you do this, you're also following that groove. Yeah, because it comes up and down like this. So, boom, boom. I can come down, go up and point. Come down, up and point. Yeah, and it follows that groove motion, okay? So it kind of coincides with it, all right? Now when you're actually dancing and you're using points, uh, the uh, original intention is to draw everyone's attention, even your own attention to that thing, yeah? So if I point at something, I'm looking and pointing at that thing, okay? So using your head with your points is also really important. So when I'm when I'm pointing at something, I'm also drawing all my intention into that thing, okay? Uh, but you don't always have to look at what you're pointing at. I can point over here, and then I can take a look at it, yeah? So I can kind of misdirect and use my point to draw someone's attention to something, and then I can look at it, okay? So there's different ways that you can play with the way that you look and point at the same time. So when you're pointing, you have the freedom to point anywhere, at anything, uh, however you wanna do it, in any direction, okay? So when you're pointing and you're freestyling, you can play with where you're pointing, how your body is turned, yeah? Even the level, pointing down, up, yeah? Lifting a leg, pointing at different things. That's when you're freestyling, okay? Now that we understand the basic idea and the basic trajectory for your arms when we're pointing, I'm gonna show you a drill that I like to use in my own training to help you clean up your movement and make it really, really strong and sharp, okay? So this drill is, uh, we're only gonna be pointing in 
really two different directions, uh, which is to the side and to the front. And the reason I do this drill in, in these directions is because these uh, positions are the most symmetrical. So um, it's, it's nice to be able to have your movement look really clean and symmetrical because it's pleasing to the eye. You can point anywhere you want when you're freestyling, right? But as a drill to really train your lines, um, we're gonna be pointing to the sides and to the front, okay? So let's get into the drill. First, we're going to point out to the right, okay? So my arm is gonna come up and out to the right. Now, one thing that I do, um, and I, I train this into myself in, in my points whenever I'm locking, is I clip the other hand if I'm not using it, I clip it to my side. This way it stays nice and clean and I stay in that locked and loaded position. So if I'm here, I can boom into a lock if I want to or something else. So this hand is always ready, okay? So we're doing this drill. We're gonna go up and out, boom. This one's out to the right, this one's gonna be pinned. Then when I switch to the other side, this one's gonna come in and down and pin and this is gonna come up and out to the left, right? And we're gonna do it at the same time. So it goes one here, and then at the same time you're gonna switch, boom, to the side, okay? Then from here, you're gonna to point to the front, boom. Left hand to the front, boom, okay? Now from here, this is gonna go straight out to the side. So it's gonna come in, and you're gonna come up and out to the side, both arms. Then you're gonna come down, pin right here, hold. And then you're gonna come out, up, and to the front, and then you're gonna come back down here, okay? So with a slow tempo, it would look like this. We would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? One thing that you wanna focus on when you're doing this is making these points as strong and sharp as possible, right? Because this is a drill. We're training our strength and our technique. So, any, so every time you point, it should be strong and sharp, okay? Now, be careful about locking out your elbow. Don't be out of control. Don't just point it out and let that thing like hit, okay? You want to actually flex your muscles. Boom, yeah? So I'm not actually like, I'm not all the way out, I'm just a little bit in, but I'm flexing my muscle, all right? This is how you keep it strong and keep yourself safe, okay? So boom, I'm out and I'm flexing all my muscles really strong. Boom, and I point out this side. Boom, 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 and boom, and, okay? The more you flex, the more you're gonna train your, your muscular stamina so that every single time you do it, it's gonna be always strong and you won't fatigue as fast when you're actually doing it, okay? So now that we know the sequence, all right, um, now I'm gonna show you the pattern of the drill with the timing, okay? Now this drill is gonna train not only your speed, but it's also gonna train your ability to hold a picture. And that's also important. So when you're hitting a, uh, like a point, you're not just gonna bounce out of it every time. Boom, hitting that point and being able to lock into that position and hold it. So you're really training your, your um, your control in a lot of different ways, okay? All right, so the drill goes like this. With that sequence, this is the timing. First, we're gonna be on every four count, okay? So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Hold five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we'll do that uh, one time all the way through. And you, again, your, your goal is to be able to hold and hold it strong, okay? After that, we're gonna go to every two counts. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll do that one for two rotations, okay? So we'll do that one twice. After that, we're gonna go on every single count, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? We'll do that one four times, all right? And then the last one after that, the final one, is we're gonna go on all the half counts, 
okay? So one and two and three and four, right? So one and two and three and four and, okay? And then we'll do that one four times, which will be two eight counts, okay? One more thing is as you're doing this drill, feel free to play with where you're looking, okay? You can play with looking the, straight the whole time or you can look at the directions that you're pointing. Um, I like to look and train my looks with my points, but feel free to do it however you would like to do it, okay? So we're gonna get into the drill. Just remember that you can use this drill to any song um, and any genre of music that you really wanna uh, practice to. Yeah, I, would re I recommend doing it to slow songs and to fast songs so that you can build your adaptation and really build that strength and control, okay? But I'm, we're gonna do the drill right now, so feel free to follow along if you wanna train with me. Let's do it. Thank you so much for checking out this locking tutorial. I really hope that you learned something and if you did, please hit that like button for me and as well as leave me a comment. Let me know your feedback on this video and any tutorials that you'd like to learn in the future. As always, shout out to the Drop Dance Studio for hosting this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and click that bell icon right there so you always get notified when I put out a new video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hey, wake up. Hey, wake up.